The announcement of Shinzo Abe's death shocked leaders at the G20 summit in Bali. Indonesia's foreign minister was one of the first to give her condolences. His dedication to serving his country and people will always be remembered as a prime example for all. A number of world leaders have reacted on social media. Emmanuel Macron tweeted a message in Japanese to mark the event. On behalf of the French people, I address my sincere condolences to the Japanese authorities and people after the assassination of Shinzo Abe. Japan is losing a great prime minister who dedicated his life to his country and worked to find a balance in the world. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz said he was left aghast and deeply saddened, whilst Italy's Premier Mario Draghi firmly condemned the attack against the former Japanese leader. In Brussels, flags at the Japanese embassy flew at half-mast. After expressing his condolences, US President Joe Biden says he doesn't expect the killing to destabilize Japan. But we're going to learn more about, as time goes on, about motive. I, I do not believe it's likely to have, but I don't know yet, likely to have any profound destabilizing impact on Japanese security or Japanese uh, solidarity. Donald Trump also expressed his sadness. The ex-president said it was really bad news for the world. President Jair Bolsonaro of Brazil, also close to Abe, decreed three days of national mourning in Brazil. At nearly two million, the country has the biggest overseas Japanese community in the world. Whilst Vladimir Putin called the death an irreplaceable loss, in a telegram of condolences intended for the family of Shinzo Abe.